Hello, welcome to the channel Flesh to the Father. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining the pointlessness of changing religious belief. Now, the reason I do this video is because I watch a lot of YouTube channels and general stuff, and there's a lot of people converting religions. So a lot of Christians becoming Muslims, or Muslims becoming Christian, or Christians becoming atheist, Muslim becoming atheists, or Hindus to Muslim, Muslim to Hindu, all these things. And what you'll realize when you truly spiritually awaken is the complete pointlessness of it all. Now, the reason it's pointless is because the whole goal of life is to be spiritually reborn or become spiritually awakened or gain enlightenment. It's basically to awaken the spirit and become a spirit. And then you return to the spiritual father and you know that there is a spiritual father rather than believing or disbelieving. And the problem I see is, for example, I see one guy who was a Christian who's now become an atheist. And I was thinking, well, you believed in a God and now you don't believe in a God because you've debunked the Bible. And a lot of Muslims will do the same thing. And even a lot of Christians will say, well, the Christianity doesn't make any sense anymore. And then they'll read a bit of the Quran and say, oh, that makes a bit of sense. I'm becoming a Muslim. Or you may see Muslims who will say, oh, this doesn't make any sense. I'm going to become a Christian. But they're just playing intellectual games and it's believing. You're trying to intellectually understand God, but you cannot do it with the intellect. You can only do it with the spirit. So if I'm discussing God with people, I always tell them, I don't want you to believe in any religion or don't even believe what I'm saying. I'm just going to give you instructions on how to awaken the spirit and then you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free, as Jesus said. So I don't tell people, read the Bible, read the Quran, um, trust me what I'm saying in my beliefs. What I'll tell anyone who wants to generally be a spiritual seeker and know the truth is to introduce a daily meditation plan or sitting in silence to awaken the awareness. You know, do some fasting because you'll loosen the fleshly bonds and become in touch with the spirit. And drop all your beliefs that you have. Just start afresh and say, right, I'm not going to have any beliefs. I'm just going to start from fresh and allow God to show me the truth. And what happens is as time goes on, the more you free yourself from the flesh. So you'll overcome your sexual habits. Uh, you'll overcome your food habits by fasting and meditation every day. And the more you spiritually awaken or the more time goes by, the more you'll awaken to a point where it would just become clear that you are the awareness rather than the thoughts. And then that awareness is the spirit. And then the spirit is made in the image of God. And your father who created your spirit is God. And then you'll know and you'll have a relationship. So when I say a relationship with the father, it's not like I literally have a relationship and I can talk and it's not some kind of personal intimate thing. It's just a relationship with, ah, it's like being a child again. Like Jesus said, the highest in the kingdom of heaven is the children. Because when children, if you look at really young toddlers, they're in the kingdom of heaven because they're still born into this world. They're still living as a spirit before their ego takes over. And then when you're reborn, you become as a child and you have that relationship with the father, not a personal, but just an understanding and living in the spirit. And you'll understand that you are a spirit and your father's a spirit and that everybody else is a spirit. And the problem with belief systems, whether you believe or you disbelieve, is you're not getting to know the truth. And they're trying to understand on a scholarly, intellectual way. And it doesn't matter how many times you read a Bible, how many times you read a Quran, whatever. You're not going to know God. And this is why people convert into anybody who I see converting or going, I'm now an atheist. I'm now a Christian. I'm now a Muslim. I can tell that they're not truly reborn. And people who are obsessed with their religion, they're not truly reborn. So if they're like, oh, the Bible says this, the Quran says this, the Gita says this, you're not truly, truly reborn because the scriptures will just confirm what you already know in your spirit. And the parts of the scriptures that make zero sense, you can discard them, no problem, because you understand they're not the word of God. The word of God is written in the spirit with inside. And once you're reborn, you don't need scriptures. You live like the analogy of Adam in the garden. He didn't need scriptures because he had a relationship with the father. And that's how when you're spiritually reborn, you become a spirit and you have a relationship with the father and you're guided by the spirit. You don't need the scriptures. You just need the spirit, which is connected to the father. And then when you sit in stillness and you loosen yourself from the flesh, the spirit of the father can comes into your spirit and then you bring that into the world. So all these people going online arguing about uh, I'm now a Christian, I'm now a Muslim, all this stuff. They're just playing uh, intellectual games and egotistical games 
rather than seeking and knowing the truth. That's why you can't take them seriously. And for an example, myself, I've done, I read the Gita and the Upanishads, which is Hindu texts. And I did some videos complimenting the, the um, scriptures because I like them because they're more parables and teaching you to return to the spirit within. Just as uh, exactly how I compared them, very similar to what Jesus Christ talked about. But I don't get in any egotistical games of thinking, oh, I've enjoyed these books. I'm going to become a Hindu. <laughs> no, I like the text. It just confirms what I know within myself. And the same with uh, Jesus it just confirms what I know within my spirit. And also the same in Buddhism when it teaches of enlightenment. So it all just confirms the truth rather than most of the Abrahamic tests is uh, texts are more just stories and people having egotistical beliefs about with the special ones and end times prophecies and all this nonsense. It's just egotistical games. But that doesn't free you from the bonds of this world. And that's why Jesus Christ got in trouble with the religious people, because he was saying, I'm not here to disrespect the religion, but you're not freeing yourselves. You have to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And that's why the children are the highest in the kingdom of heaven, because they are they come from the spirit and they're still a spirit until the ego takes over. And the thing is, now when people ask me, what religion are you? I, I don't really say I'm any religion. I say, well, I love Jesus Christ, but I do not. I love and I follow Jesus Christ, but I'm not a Christian. I also have high respect for Hindu and Hinduism and Buddhism. And I'm not a great fan of the Abrahamic religions. That's what I would basically tell people. But mostly I'm reborn as a spirit and our father is a spirit and we're all spirits and we're one big spiritual family. That's the truth. Uh, and it can't be contained in a religion because God doesn't have a religion. Okay, so that's the point of this video. I'm trying to tell people not to bother having religious beliefs, but to seek the truth. And then, uh, as it says, seek and you will find the truth rather than believing. So belief and disbelief is pointless. You want to know the truth and the truth dwells within you. You just have to awaken it. So the usual stuff, uh, subscribe, like the video, comment below and God bless everyone. Goodbye.